Hi Virgo, happy April. Thank you for your patience. Okay. This reading has a little bit of a, a flavor of, of Sagittarius reading. See if you choose, see where that, um, I think it'll make you feel a little bit better. See where Sag sits, see what house that's in. And if you've got planets in there, see what planets those are, because the, the show will be going on there um, in how this, this plays out. Okay, now I think it's it's a, a good reading, but I think there's some, uh, how do I say, I'm sorry, I'm just a little, um, I feel like this, like, like, again, very much like Sagittarius, like I'm not quite sure, I know something is over, I know a chapter is over, I know I need to go in a different direction, I know I want to go in a different direction, but I'm terrified, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, right? This is where the great divide between fear and faith come in, right? And which which is trumping which right now. Um, okay. Again, I think there is um, more here than meets the eye. I want to say this to you. If... We learn the things in life to not make things harder. But in that, we can also close ourselves off to some great opportunities, to some great relationships on all fronts, right? So if you've had example, I'm going to keep these short, but I think it needs to be said in here. If you've had a relationship in the past that has really relationships, right? Say your whole life is, is, is full of tumultuous relationships. At a certain point, you're like, is this really even worth it? Should I just go on and do something else? But then someone crosses your path that just catches your fancy, right? And and you, you really want to entertain it. You're excited about it. But then you think, you know, this is just going to add poorly. So why even try? Try to remember what you've learned from all of these things. Take what you've learned from all of this, but don't let it don't let it jade you enough to think, oh, the other shoe will always drop. That's not always the case. And I think that something is presenting itself in here. I think you're, you either did or are about to get an offer from someone or something or a career or something is at a distance from you and you just don't think, how is this going to work out? I don't know how this is going to work out. It just doesn't seem like it can work. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's I don't know how I could make this work. You know, say you live in one country and this person lives in another country, but there's just a really strong connection there. Or or there's something a, a, something you want to do somewhere else and you just don't see yet how I can make this work. That's where I think you're at. But I think that in that excitement, you're instantly locking yourself down to why should I even try? Because it's just going to end this way anyway. <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Okay. All right. What I see here coming in is, and there's more to this story too, I feel just like Sagittarius. I think there's more to this story than you are aware of. I think there's more in the lesson department, right? And not necessarily don't think you're going to get zinged by anything, but there's more that maybe what was I supposed to take from um, all of this disappointment in the past, right? What was I supposed to learn from that? More about yourself, right? More about well, you know, I'm here, I survived, but make sure that you're bringing the lesson with you forward, but that it's not locking you down, you know what I mean, to, to shutting opportunities. You're not shutting opportunities out from yourself, right? You come in with the Ten of Swords, and it's crossed by the Seven of, this is something too, you know, this kind of right here is like, maybe you need to put an end to relationship or career and figure out how to bridge the two in harmony, right? Like, like I don't know how to do that. And it, it, I get it a lot, right? We, it, it's hard to balance. Like life has got a lot of different facets. It's, it's hard sometimes to, to make everybody happy, you know, but what you've got here is the 10 of swords, which is saying it's always darkest before the dawn, which means you may not have clarity yet on how to do this, but you want to, you know what I mean? You don't see any movement. It's active inactiveness here, right? Like, like there's, but, but in, again, what lessons have I learned from the past? 
You know what I mean? The Ten of Swords is a card. You've got two cards here. I'm, I'm going to go through the cards. But you've got two cards here of major movement. You've got three cards here, actually, of transmutation, which is like, to put it in simple terms, I guess, simpler terms, it, it, it's, it's a whole new way of living life. My beliefs have changed, what I want changes, how I go about things change, my value systems change. Um, you're transcending. Whatever that means to you, you're transcending to a different place. So everything that's happened in the past, take the lesson, take the blessing, and move it forward. There's something sitting here. For some of you, you're moving. For some of you, an opportunity is coming in. For some of you, a relationship is coming in. For some of you, it might be something very, very different than you're used to. It might be something that you may not know how is this going to fit into my world. You create your world. The people in your life, including your family and friends, they're part of, you know, your world. They're there by your invitation. Remember that. Okay, if this person is going to make you very happy and you want to experience this, this is your ride of a lifetime. If you've got an opportunity here where you think you've got something with this person, it's your life. You know, so you don't need to make the peanut gallery happy. And I feel the need to say that. I'm not quite sure why. So there you go. All right, let's go through our cards. And I'm noticing now as I'm pulling the bridge here, the six, the six of, this is, again, I don't have clarity, but I know I want to go, right? You've got the eight of cups in reverse, which again is telling me what I was feeling. I don't know how I would make this work. It's just going to take time. Once you get it going like this, discipline, focus, time, investment, that's all. That's all that gets this upright. Okay, this is an eight too. It's a card where I know this. I know this. I've been down this road before. It may look different, but but I know this. And you've got the king of cups underneath. Your emotions are in the right spot. You're a whole person again, because through life, I've acquired these things. I've experienced this and I've learned this. And I release things that, that don't serve me. I learn the lesson and I move on here, okay? That's what I've got. And I want to bring out the Queen of Cups sits in here. This is the, the I mean, you could put a heart around this. this. These are the lovers of the deck. Okay, so I think an, I think an opportunity is coming here and you're, you're wanting it. You can taste it, smell it, and feel it. You're just not quite sure. But I think how it shows up is in the form of this, the Knight of Cups. How realistic is this? Is this fantasy land? Am I kidding myself? I'm not a child. You know, you don't need to be a child to believe in romance, to believe in love. This person may bring something into your life where it really pulls your weight up. You know what I mean? Like I'm so weighed down by responsibilities in my life. Now I can have a little bit of fun, have a little bit of happiness. This person, you know, they're very, the, the nights are in movement. They're very poetic. They're very... You know, they remind you of when you're a kid and you think you can do everything. And I'm harping on this because I know you guys get stuck at that 11th hour. And this could be something that really makes you happy at your core. Like it gives you joy in your life, right? And I think there might be, there could be a substantial age difference here. That's why I think you think, oh, well, this won't fly in my world. You create your world, my lovelies. So if you want it to fit, it will fit. Okay, now. These are the cards that we come in with, the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Coins, okay? We've got the Knight of Cups in the past. You've got the Four of Coins in the future. You're anchored here where I've been stormed before, you know, the Nine of Wands. You've got the World card, Reward, Completion. I've done this. I'm moving on from here. Okay. Okay. The Hierophant, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Fool card. Okay? Now, what I feel is happening here, I gave you kind of the lowdown of what I think. How practical is this? Can I do this? Am I kidding myself? I'm not a kid anymore. I can't just up and move. You know, what if, what if, what if? What if? Right? What if? Um, 
I think that you may have met someone that is not where you're at. I think you're in uncharted territory. I think this relationship is not traditional in the form of what others outside of yourself feel is, is traditional. And I think you're not quite sure what to do about that. Okay. But I think here that you may have lived your life for a very long time under the, the, under the umbrella of this is just, it's just how it should be. It's just how it has to be. You know what I mean? And I think that you're realizing now that your life is not that traditional in, in a way that it's not traditional to you. You need to carve out your own little place here. And I think that that's where you're at the great divide. I think you've got a life that's cultivating itself, whether you realize it or not, right ahead of you. And I think it's very different than where you're at and where you've been. And I think you may have a little bit of, you're just not clear on how to bridge those two, right? That might be it too. And I think that there's more here than meets the eye. Is this an opportunity or is this a gamble? Okay, with this, I will ask you coming in, just like I asked Sagittarius, right? The Ten of, of Swords is a card of, of I'm not going to think like this anymore. I'm not going to live like this anymore. It's, it's, it's a card of ascension, though. It goes forward and it reminds you that it won't always be like this. It'll be clear. The clarity will come. It won't always be in limbo. But this card is saying there's more information that I need to gather here. I haven't quite got the whole picture yet, right? So you will, though. Now, in the past, this person came, and I'm not quite sure. You know, this may be, an, at one point, a fleeting thing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like this person came in, and, and it kind of caused this. Like, what do I do now? You know what I mean? Is it, is it over? Is this all it is? But I think what happened here was it kind of threw, it kind of threw a wrench into what do I keep and what do I what is of real value in my life, right? What do I hold and what do I fold? This is a card of someone who's stable. You're stable in your life here and this other person may not be. But is this a gamble to go for my dreams, right? Is this a gamble? Am I, am I just being a silly person, right? That's kind of what you're thinking. But I think that when you take the lesson from this, of your past lives, not of, of your life, right? From when you're born to now. If you take the real lesson here, if you stop for a minute and really take the lesson here, I think you're going to know really, really fast what it is that you want to do. This isn't a card of, a, of a, a stingy person. It's a card of, I've got stability in my life. <laughs> what am I doing, right? But, but it doesn't look like a gamble to me. It just looks like you need to be okay with this, to make it sustainable. You don't want to get into something and have it be, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know who this other person is. And I don't know, you know, kind of like that, that, um, um, I promise I'm making these videos shorter, but I like to give you things that stick with you so that when you're in this position, you can think of something that I say that's, you know, whatever in, uh, under the Tuscan sun, Catherine says, what am I crazy? I bought this house. I bought this, this house for a life I don't even have. That's where I think you're at. But we know how that movie went, right? So, so that's kind of what I think is happening here. I think you're in uncharted territory. I think that there's a move here maybe you want to make. Maybe you want to move somewhere else. Maybe this is another person. It can be an opportunity. It could be something. This can be something that lights you on fire. It doesn't need to be a person. But it can be because you've got two people here and the king came up, right? So this could be, I want to cultivate this life for myself that's mine, you know? But I just don't think you're, you're there yet. I think you're scared. I'll say that. I think you're scared. But I also think that this is an opportunity here. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. You can't go back from here and you wouldn't want to. If you, if, if you take something from the past and pull it forward, it creates this, a whole new life for yourself. It doesn't leave you thinking, I don't know, am I a fool? It doesn't. It, it lets you engage in your life and you go out with the fool card, right? I'll clarify this for you. But I think you're sitting on an opportunity here for yourself. I think you know it. I think there's just a little more. You need, I think, a little bit more 
um, faith in yourself, trust in yourself, trust in your plan. And let's just be honest, if it, if it fails, it just means it wasn't meant to be, but you've got the experience. And that's what this card really brings. I've experienced a lot in my life and I'm still standing, right? This is the 11th hour card. You don't want to quit here. You're at the, the, you are at the jumping off point of something here. And I don't only say that because this card is here. I feel it. Okay. I think you're just making wise choices, but sometimes our two wise choices can really trip us up, right? So, let me see. Okay, this too, I want to point out, is this is, is, is what you're wanting. This is what you're wanting for your future. And see, look, I'm pointing this out. Look, he's look, you're going here. When this is in this direction, you're going on to a whole new cycle. What I don't like to see is this because it means I'm stuck. But this means I'm going on to a whole new chapter, right? The queen, where is she? The queen of cups. This is someone who always, you know, sometimes can get, um, don't underestimate this card. This is not a woman who's lost in la la land. This is someone who's open and receptive, but they're going to see what you have to offer. They're not going to blindly just give you everything. They're very nurturing, but they're very, very, they're very wise. They're smart. She often gets a bad rap here for being like a ding dong out in the, the you know, la la land somewhere, but she's not, you know what I mean? She's very receptive, but she's got proper boundaries, you know? So I just think that you know, you're, you're fearful here. You see the new opportunity or you're just not quite sure, but, but you will be. Okay. Put it this way. You've got endings here. The time seasons, whatever has passed. It's like coming to a close anyway. This is why this is being afforded to you. Right? So all I'm saying is take some time to yourself. This is in your environment. Take some time to yourself and really ask yourself what it is that you want to do. Because these two cards really speak of, I need change. I need something more in my life. You know, I feel like a heaviness here and you need some more joy in your life is what I really feel. And I think that an opportunity is presenting itself to kind of light the fire back in your life again. I just think you're, you might be being too practical right? You might be being too practical. Well, I don't know how it will work out. It will, if you have a little faith. With this card here, you will figure it out. You are extremely organized. You could figure this out if you wanted it bad enough. Maybe that's the question. How bad do I want this? And in five years, will I regret not taking this opportunity, right? This card right here, these, these, this is like a, um, I'm through it through thick and thin. You know what I mean? Like it, it's not a card that, that uh, they're not, it's not a couple that um, they're very, uh, how do I say this? On a Monday night when it's just meatloaf, maybe for the rest of their life, they make it fun. They make it happy. They enjoy it. They don't care. They're happy. They're together. Right? Their cups runneth over here. They have this in their lives. This is enthusiasm, romance, good conversation, happiness. It's not nonsense. You know, I would say light your dreams on fire here is what I've got. Okay. That's what I see. I think there's more here than you see. You could be downplaying this and this could be the whirlwind event of your life in any way, shape or form. But I'm saying here, I think that, again, you just don't see all that there is. There's a there's a, there, I would be watching for signs. I would be listening. I would be taking time to yourself. There's something here. There's more than the life that you're living is all I'm going to say. There's more than the life that you're living and it's presenting itself here for you.
endings, beginnings. This is pretty spectacular. Okay, if you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with anything. I just posted specials on the website for April. I hope that I helped you in some way. Again, thank you so much, and I appreciate your patience waiting for me. Some months are harder than others to get these videos out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.